to parents creativity and to this tutorial i'll be taking you on a step-by-step -step procedure on how to achieve a glass morphism effect on pixel art this is what most ui designers use to create their to create a like a music playlist all right let's go first we start with a plain background all right now from this tutorial i'll be using a different size i want to mean this the image size i'll be using the youtube banner all right next is our background we go to we go to pick our background now first of all i'm to change this to ash okay this is this is nice all right then we'll go back to pick our background all images and resources used and this will be made available all right this was the image i used what i have to do just i'll just have to drag it till it fills my screen this is my relative position my relative size 100 100 all right relative position center then i log this image all right the next i'll be doing is i'll be bringing our box first of all let me set our grid line to 15 by 15 grid points Good adjustment to right this is nice then we go to our shape okay our beats all right then we it is a five it's okay then this is nice okay let me, let's take this up a bit just to give it a feel okay this is okay next what we'll be doing is to we'll our shape circle bring it to this edge I will right, we'll be using a default, we we'll be using gradient touch throughout a default black and white. Okay. This time we'll be using this the circular diagonal. And what we we'll do we we'll bring it this way and take this up here. Alright. We'll make this all white. This is nice. To this end. this then we'll copy this edit bring this down here then we'll be using this color i'll be calling the um the color code now and the gradient arrangements for you the color code for the first one that look like a red this the color code is ff405d i go again ff405d all right to the other one which is the purple the color code is ff10 i need you to paste the color code ff10 fc i go again ff10 fc okay okay now we're using the same circular diagonal just shift this to this end and this to this end and um, there we go then bring this down then what there yeah, we can reduce the size it's looking big all right all right then the next thing what we have to do is save before we save you have to off this and save this first the background first just save the background remember ultra and save then the next we save the box without the background all right you can make it transparent and save it's already all right there we go 
turn them back again. Then the simple trick about this is the background which we have already um, exported or saved, we have to then blow it. Yeah, check in the description link. I'll be dropping the link for one of the tutorials I've taught on that how to blow images. All right, now what we have to do is we have to off this white box, then import back our white box which we have already saved from our gallery. Go to our texture, import back the image which I've already blurred. And here we go. This is how amazing it looks. Next, we just have to log this and go back to our music playlist which we are about to create. Or in our grid lines, using our zoom. Just increase this and work on this. What we have to do now, we'll hit only the edit button, just add one, add one down here and one here also to bring this and adjust to the end, to the end, this way, this way, and this way. Just choose to add more one here, and then also create that balance. That square balance between them right add it again sorry and here we go now curve five also and here we're going to create the bad padding balance between these edges Create that between these edges now what i have to do is just using our position shift it this way in now and here we go all right moving we can add our picture now we're going to my gallery texture same and add all right this is the image we'll be using Okay. The next thing we'll be doing on our uh, zoom. Now let's create that music line. I'm going over to our shape. Turn this down here, this here, and this a bit above the above the text level. I, I mean the image there. Bring this down on this again. Add. Add one here and one again because of the size. Choose to delete this. All right. Take this to this point and these to this point. That's all right. Now what we're doing here is we'll be using the pink color or now the. We'll be using the pink color for that. This is a color picker. Go to the pink. Okay, we'll be using the purple. Sorry, just for me to make it look more realistic. The purple, and we'll switch this to the end to the middle here. Now to get that faded part, that switch this. In this white. White and transparent to the end. Let me see this part and yeah. Overlap, overlay this on the transparent white which we have already created. Then we we'll turn our stroke to a white color. Click OK. And there we have it All right sorry we didn't add something to this we have to make this curve you can use it to the end same thing just to give that run feel then the next is just to create a ball reduce this just reduce to the end but be careful when reducing so you won't alter the shape we'll be using a yellow color for that um, bright yellow color. All right, so this is more. Take this down to serve as the music. No, 
Hold our eyes. It is okay. The next will be creating the play and pause. Size is okay. Arrange it to the center. Shape again, but I won't be using a circle, we'll be using a triangle. We use this, we use this. We'll be using the same yellow tone, but this time around a deeper one. More of this color. Then we just have to reduce this and rotate it this way. In that position, you bring it down. And when you're designing, make sure that the padding are equal. Power zoom in and you just have to reduce the size a little bit. Alright. Then we'll cast our shadow on this. I mean, let's give it that realistic feel. Transparent the shadow to this point. Now, right, this time we'll be offsetting X instead of Y since we have rotated it already. An offset of 4 is okay. I want the done, the shadow fill are done. Alright. Then, now to just copy this box again. This now is on. Let's zoom this in. Copy this this time. Bring in this way. This time we won't be using this color, we'll be using the color which we used on this which was the purple let's go back to the shape now what i click what i'm clicking is the color picker tap on this and that's okay arrange it do the same thing again copy this time around rotate it sorry don't reduce the size just Rotate it. This way and take it. Up. Again, once again. This way. Alright, it's okay. The padding between here and here are almost the same. Alright, for my eye gauge, they are the same now. Wow, how beautiful it is. Now, just go over to the text, which is the last. And we just write. But you can choose the words you want to do. Alright, paradise indeed. Let's change this. I use the Montserrat font. Alright, go bold. I use the Montserrat bold for this. And I reduce the size. Okay. Right, this is okay, but this time around, let's just shift this down starting from those points. Just this, this, and this. We just have to just take it down, just take it down, then just highlight from here, yeah, 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 and then I have to give it equal padding. Yeah, yeah, we get our amazing design. Let me turn full screen so we can see it. Amazing.
all right thank you for watching this awesome tutorial do wait to like comment and subscribe to various creativity and